Hey everybody, it's Brooke with Refab, and it's snowing outside. It is like really coming down here and it's starting to cover the ground even more. We already had probably four to five inches and now we're getting more. It's exciting for me. I'm super happy about it, just to tell you the truth, because we do not always get um, a lot of snow over where I live. We just don't. It's not like some places where you are like, you can have my snow because I'm tired of it. I understand that totally, but that is not how I am. Now, after this snow, I'm good with it being gone. We can head on into spring. And that, I mean, I'm happy about that. So I've got this. This is gonna make one gnome, okay? So this, I don't know why it's missing. I think maybe one of my kids got a hold of this. Who in the world knows? But it won't matter because it's gonna be covered up. It's from Dollar Tree. It's a cone, okay? It is a styrofoam cone. We're gonna turn it into a gnome. And then this little piece right here, this is from our house build. See, it's even got dimensions on the back from different things that we needed when we were building our house. So we're gonna make a gnome with this too. So we got two totally different pieces and it's gonna be super fun, I think. So it might take a minute because we got two things to make, but definitely make sure that you are showing this to some pals that may enjoy it. So got two beads because you know your little gnomes need cute beaded noses. Um, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with the cone. Okay, so we're gonna start with the cone. I got these socks. Y'all tell me how cute these socks are. I got these socks at Dollar Tree. Um, I'm, I don't know, I think for this one, I'm actually gonna use these because they kind of match my rainbow shirt, but they're from Dollar Tree, so they were $1. I love to find really cute socks um, to use for a lot of different things, but they're really fun for gnome hats, okay? So, what I'm gonna do today is I'm going to take this mop, which is also from the Dollar Tree. Let me open it. Ooh. And we're gonna use, ooh, I should have had that open. It's got like little stuff going everywhere. Oh, me. Okay, so um, we are going to use some of this for my, um, my beard on my gnome, okay? So we're gonna use this, we're gonna cut it up, and then we're, we're only gonna do the front part of this, okay? So let me kinda explain what I'm doing here. So I'm gonna use the top of this for my gnome hat. We're gonna put it on there. I, this is literally everywhere. <laughs> I just don't even know. And what I'm gonna do on this part is I am going to wrap some burlap around the bottom just so that it covers the styrofoam. Then, we're gonna go ahead and put some of this and hot glue it going around. But we're not gonna cover the whole entire cone, we're just gonna cover the front, okay? So, that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna put this down and we're gonna get to that in just a second. So I've got my hot glue gun, hot and ready. Kinda like little Caesar's pizzas, hot and ready. <laughs> oh, me. Um, so let's go ahead and, and wrap the bottom part with some burlap, okay? This is the only reason we're doing this. You, this is not a must do, but the only reason I am doing that is just to kind of cover up the styrofoam, the look of the styrofoam, okay? Um, so that's literally the only reason. That way, if you can see through some of it, you're not seeing um, the, the white. You're seeing something else. It just kind of makes it look a little more together. So I'm just, it doesn't matter what it looks like because you're gonna be covering all this up. You're gonna be covering it with a sock. You're gonna be covering it with all that. Um, but we're gonna go ahead and just get it wrapped tightly, okay? And then put a little dab of hot glue on it to get it to stay, okay? So we're just gonna put that there and then we're just gonna wrap this. Like I said, this part is optional. But this is, I, I just think it needed it around the bottom because I know how hard it is sometimes with the mop head to get the, um, get them thick enough that it doesn't show through, okay? So anyway, we just did this at the bottom, okay? Now, I'm going to take a sock, any sock, but I'm going to take mine that has really cute, um, oh, what are these called? Rainbows. And I am going to cut the bottom. And this is a last minute decision. I'm gonna tell you why. Because what I was gonna do 
Well, why am I using these wrong scissors? Okay, so I was gonna flip it over and put it down like this, but then look, upside down. So I just cut the bottom off and then I'm gonna do it like this. We wanna leave some on that, on the top, okay? So we got this look going so far, okay? We can bring it down more or up more, whatever you wanna do. And we're gonna leave this top part like this for now, for now, okay? Because we're gonna, we're gonna tie it up, we're gonna put a bow on it, and it's gonna be super cute. This is a girl gnome. Both of mine are girl gnomes, okay? Um, no mats, okay? I don't know what they're called. <laughs> so we're we're gonna leave it like this for now, but then we're gonna do something around here. So doesn't this look so cute with my rainbow shirt? Um, yes, Nicole, go to your um go to your Dollar Tree or even Walmart has like really cheap um socks. Anywhere that's got cheap socks and see if you can find some themed for St. Patrick's Day or even just some green ones or any fun ones that you can find to make really cute gnomes. That just makes something really cute. Um, so anyway, let me move this because that's going to be for my second gnome. So we've got this. We're going to leave this as it is for now. Um, actually, one thing I am going to do real quick. I am going to take this twine. Y'all, I found green twine at the Dollar Tree. At the Dollar Tree, for real. It was not with the St. Patrick's Day stuff. It wasn't even with the crafting stuff. I really don't remember where I found this green twine, but it was in there somewhere. And I just thought I'm grabbing that because that's gonna be um, really cute to use. Well, if I can get it open for St. Patrick's Day. So I grabbed it, see? And um, I just grabbed it, so I just letting y'all know. So I'm gonna go ahead and tie it up there just so that it's tied and then we can add the bow later. So we're just gonna tie it. Yes, Five Below is a great place also for, um, for sure. So we're just gonna tie it like that. I love gnomes, listen, I'm obsessed. I think they're adorable. So somebody's gonna take home one of these. Somebody's gonna take home this one, somebody's gonna take home the other one, okay? So anyway, we're gonna leave it like this for now. And now we're gonna go ahead and cut up our mop head because the mop is gonna be the um, beard, okay? So let's get this cut. Probably could have done this beforehand, but it's always a last minute decision. I'm like, hey, I'm going live in one minute. <laughs> and then I decide what we're gonna do. Um, so that is truly the way it works around here. So there's never a lot of preparation. I'm sorry about that, there's, there's just not. And these scissors are having a bit of a time. But I'm gonna cut a little bit more off. Like I said, I'm not gonna go all the way around the gnome. I'm just, man, I'm having a hard time with these scissors. Let me get it downward. It's okay if y'all can't see this process. Y'all know how to cut some string. Okay, so these these mop heads from Dollar Tree make the perfect beards, y'all. Okay, um, so what I'm gonna do is, okay, first of all, I need to hot glue my bead. You need a bead or something round, okay? So I'm gonna put a dab of glue on it, I almost forgot, and I'm gonna tuck it up under my sock just a little where it's a little bit hidden okay your husband has said only two per season or holiday now now you don't need that kind of negativity um christmas y'all don't even want to know i had so many gnomes boy it's not one to tuck underneath very good but that's okay because we're gonna add all his whiskers or all his his whiskers his um beard but these work perfect for beards okay so now that I got that I about forgot to do that I'm just gonna do like a line of glue right here and I'm just gonna start oh, you gotta be quick though and I'm not really being very quick right now um, just kind of laying my beard across here and then I'm gonna just kind of bring my sock down over it when we're done okay Clarksville, Tennessee. I love me some Clarksville, Tennessee. I grew up in Hopkinsville, Kentucky. So that's just right north of Clarksville. So I went to Clarksville for everything. So I'm glad you're on here. The mop landed perfect against the wall. Yes, it did. That's funny. It almost looks like, I don't know, a sheep head or something. Okay, so 
like I said, see where it makes a difference having the burlap? It just don't look as undone um, because like this is what it looks like right now and we can definitely trim it up. But see how much more undone it would look if it didn't have this burlap? That's the whole point of adding that. It's not a must do, but it definitely helps. Okay, so this is what it looks like so far. We're definitely not done. Um, and we're going to go on this side and up under his nose and all that kind of stuff. Actually, I'm going to take the nose off. I'm just gonna, I, I can't decide. I'm taking the nose off so I can do all of his whiskers. Then I'll go back and add the nose. I keep calling him whiskers. His beard, y'all. Oh my gosh. Why am I such a nerd? His beard. Please, if I say whiskers again, just quit following me. I swear. No, please don't do that. But I just don't even know. Oh, so I'm going to keep adding his beard and then go back. That's what I'm saying. When y'all are live, like, I don't know. When you're live, you're just liable to say anything. That could be why my video got deleted last night. I don't think I said anything wrong, though, but still, you're just in the moment. Who in the world knows what you might say um, or do? So, anyway, that's what makes it fun. That's what makes lives more fun than pre-recorded videos. That's why I would much rather do lives than pre-recorded, but those are fun, too, and they work good on different outlets, so it just kind of depends, but lives are definitely my favorite. So, here's what it's looking like so far. Now, we need to, um, it's supposed to be a girl. It's a girl with a beard. Haven't y'all seen girls with beards? <laughs> um, anyway, so I'm going to add some more to it. Everybody said I thought it was a girl. Me too, but I never even thought once about a girl not having a beard. I don't know. That's how weird I am. Y'all just got to roll with it, and we just get through this together. So, I don't know. It's the girl with the beard. That's what it's going to be. The bearded gnome girl. Sorry. Um, so anyway, I'm just adding just a little bit more to kind of give it a little more, um, texture and just a little, make it a little thicker. Oh me. I said it was a girl because of the bow. So I guess she's half boy, half girl. I don't, we, we don't even need to get into all that, but, um, holy cow. Anyway, so this is what it's looking like so far. Okay. So it's looking cute, but, but you're like, mm. Yeah, it's a little rough. Oops, I just tore one of the beards off. One of the... I'm, like, tearing it off because it's getting stuck. Oh, my gosh. Seriously, Brooke. You're never going to get through this live at this pace. Never. So, let's get this on here. Okay. Okay. So, I'm just going to leave it for now. Got one piece hanging. Okay. So, I'm just going to leave the beard like it is now, Okay. Uh, you make your lady gnomes with braids. That's a really good idea. This is a, I don't know. I, let's just go with it and I have no idea, okay? So, this is not a girl, clearly, because it's got a beard. But, um, still going to have a bow. So, we're just going to do what we have to do, okay? So, anyway, um, it don't matter if it's a boy or girl. Let's, let's seriously not get tore up about that with this gnome. Um, so, I'm going to go ahead and add the nose back on. I'm going to tuck it up under here, get it stuck, and then I'm going to cover the ends with my sock. And you may want to add, because I'm going to have to do this, add just a little ream of glue to where the sock stays put because it wants to curl up. Y'all know how they do at the bottom. Uh, they kind of curl up. So, I don't want it to do that if possible. So, I'm trying to kind of put a little glue there to get it to stay put. Ooh, that was hot. Touch my hands with it. Mm. Thank you, Janet. Boy gnomes can have a bow. Okay, good. This one will. <laughs> okay. I'll go back and edit this. Not edit this. Edit the gnome is what I mean, not the video. Um, I'll probably add a little more to the end, but I don't want this to take forever. So, um, wait, this way. So, 
Isn't that cute? Yes, I can unravel the strings and that's probably what I'll do. I hate to spend too much time doing that because it does make it fuller and that's gonna be really cute. But here he is so far. I think it's super cute, so, e so easy. So let's do a bow for the hair. Um, let me move this out of the way. Okay, now I've still got all my stuff over here from yesterday where I had all the different green ribbons and black and whites. So we're gonna kind of go with that same theme um, and do that again today. So I've got this polka dot ribbon. We're gonna use it again. Cause I love that. I always like to use, like I said yesterday, I always like to use burlap for my base of my bow. So we're just gonna crisscross the crisscross it just like this and then we're just going to continue crisscrossing the ribbon as we keep going thank you for that kimberly bears or bears i, I, I hate i love saying y'all's names because i want to like give y'all shout outs but then i butcher them every time and i just feel like i i just embarrass myself so anyway we're just going to crisscross and i'm going to add a little bit of yellow because he's got some yellow in the thing and i think that's really cute in his uh, sock, or in his hat. It's not a sock anymore, it's a hat, Brooke. Um, and then we're just gonna keep using all kinds of other fun greens and blacks and whites and all that kind of stuff. There's no rhyme or reason. You just literally keep on um, crisscrossing your fabrics, okay? Fabrics or um, ribbons or just whatever it is that you're using. It does not matter. Let's see, I think I'm, oh, let's add this, okay. Let's add that and let's add this piece because I just love some little pom-pom ribbon. Aren't those so cute? Um, the cone came from Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree does not always have cones, okay? But sometimes they do. Um, but you can always find them at, well, sometimes Walmart has them, but you can usually always find them at Hobby Lobby and places like that, okay? Um, so anyway, here we go. So we just crisscrossed all these fun ribbons. And now I'm gonna take this ribbon, cut it off, cause I love using a thin piece of ribbon and then just sticking it across the top, flipping it over um, and tying it real tight to get a bow. So fun. Thank you for the stars. I've been seeing some stars popping up and I really appreciate that. Thank you very much. Very, very kind. Um, appreciate that a lot. So let me cut down the ribbon. Just kind of trim it up a tad. Come on, scissors. Work with me. I swear, it doesn't matter how good a scissors I have. I butcher them. I don't know how to work scissors, I think, or something. But look how cute this bow is. I'm not joking. This bow is the cutest thing ever. Oh my gosh, y'all. Look. Y'all might be like, that is an extra gnome. But he's so cute. He or she. I, I don't know. The bearded lady gnome with the big bow. That is adorable. That is a huge bow, y'all. Holy cow. But isn't that cute? So I'm gonna use the back because we use this. And so now this back we can use to, to tie it around, okay? Now, it's extra, but I'm a little extra myself, I just have to tell you. Um, so, I'm not against a little extraness. I think it's so cute. But I'm not keeping this. Some One of y'all is going to get it. And if y'all want to take this bow off, you can. Okay? Um, so, anyway. Oh, my gosh. That's so fun. That is fun as it can be. Let me look at it again. Oh, ow. Look at this fun gnome. Now, before it's said and done, I will unravel these, give it a little thicker look, or even add more. But this is gnome number one. I told y'all we're making two gnomes two different ways. This is the first gnome that was used with a styrofoam comb, okay? I love this. This is adorable. So, like I said, I will fluff up the gnome. I will cut it, trim it, all that kind of stuff. So, it's going to look perfect when it's done. But this, it is right now without any editing to it yet, okay? How cute. All y'all got to do is just make sure you're telling your friends. We're going to sit it. Hmm. I don't want it blocking. We're just going to sit it over here out of the way. 
I'll show it again in a minute. This, now we're moving on to gnome number two, okay? So this is a piece of shiplap from my house. And um, I actually thought of the greatest showman, Tim. He said it's the greatest showman gnome. I actually thought of that when I was saying the bearded lady and I didn't know if that would sound rude or something because who knows how people take things. But that is actually what I was thinking. So this even has the back of all the measurements written down. So this is kind of a fun piece to do a gnome on. It's tall and skinny. It's just a little piece of shiplap. What's fun about using this is it just kind of shows you that you can use anything to make anything. So don't throw stuff away. Now, don't be a hoarder. But um, I kept this because I'm like, this is all stuck on my nail. Because I thought that can be so cute one day. So now we're going to make a gnome with it. Now, we're not going to use my um, mop head for the beard this time. We are going to use this. Look how cute this, um, what is this? Uh, uh, oh my gosh, I'm going blank. Yarn. Oh my gosh, I cannot think of the word yarn. Y'all, please don't make fun of me. It's harder when you're live. You start to say things and you forget words. It's crazy. But look how cute this yarn is. And I thought this would make a precious um, beard. So I'm just going to cut some off. I don't know how much I'll need, but I can definitely grab more if I need more. And, but I'm not going to need that much, okay? But this is going to be really cute. In fact, I think about way too much. So, what we're going to do with that, we're going to set that aside. And then we're going to use this sock. Because I told you I got two pair of socks from the Dollar Tree. So, we're going to use this one. Look how cute that is. It says, Lucky has stripes. These are adorable socks, y'all. And I don't really need much, okay? Because this is small. So, I'm just going to cut it right here. Actually, I'm going to cut it right above the Lucky. My scissors aren't wanting to work for me in there. They're good scissors, but they're just acting up. Okay, here we go. There we go. Come on now. Okay. So, I'm going to move this over to the side. So, we got this. We're going to use this. And um, I am going to put it on the outside of my piece of shiplap. Okay. I'm going to kind of pull it down. Like I said, I mean, I'm using half a sock here. So, this can make several gnomes this size. That's all I know. Um, yeah, they're adorable socks. So, just doing it just like this. We'll do some stuff up here at the top, okay? Um, so, we're doing that. And then, what was I? Where was that? I think this is be a little too extra. It's too big. I thought maybe we would use this. It's also from the Dollar Tree. I think it's a little too much. I don't know. We'll just see at the end. So, we're going to do that. This loopy yarn came from Hobby Lobby, okay? We've had it for a while. You may have seen it on the blog. Um, I made a fun Christmas tree and stuff with it. Um, there's, it's, it's just a really fun little, yeah, it's just fun yarn, you know? So, it, it's cute for a lot of things. So, we're going to use, um, use it for a beard. So, let's go ahead and just do... A line. I, I feel real. Maybe I got in trouble for saying do a line. Maybe they thought I was trying to talk about something bad. I don't know. I keep racking my brain. But so maybe I shouldn't say that. So let's make a line of hot glue and um and put some yarn on it. Make it very clear that I'm doing hot glue. Okay, just in case. <laughs> And then, this is a totally different kind of, um, different kind of beard, okay? But it's, it, this is, this is real cute, I think, personally. But like I said, if you want to use more mop head, use more mop head, use whatever you want. I've also used raffia. Um, you can use so many different things for your beard. So, here's the look we've got going so far. So, we're, we need to trim it up a little, get it kind of a little closer together. Ha! <laughs> Kimmy said I'm so funny. I don't know about that. I worry about myself sometimes. And, and after many lives, I say, oh my gosh, what was I thinking? Because <laughs> it just comes out. And I'm like, mm, can't take that one back, so just move on. Um, yeah, I love this. How cute is that, y'all? And I can go trim and cut that off just a little bit. 
Oh, this is cute beard, y'all. Cute. Man, I like it when a plan comes together. If, if my scissors would cut, I'd be getting an A+. Plus. But my scissors want to act like a D-. minus. Come on. Okay, so here we are. Sorry, y'all. Come on here. Don't get these scissors. No, I'm kidding. That really is good, but... Okay, so here we are. Cute, y'all. Cute. Um, and, of course, I need my bead. Or you can use a pom-pom. Like, I got these little mini pom-poms. But that'd be a really tiny nose. But I'll, I'll see what y'all think. What if we had a little green nose? Or would you like the bead? I'll just show y'all both. Well, so which one? Probably. Sorry, <laughs> probably the bead because the other is, I mean, I liked the green if it was a little bigger, but I think it's too small. So we'll just use this one. So I, so I didn't really listen to any feedback. I'm sorry. Um, but I just made an executive order, executive decision up in here. Um, so let's just make sure this is all glued down nice and neat. Yeah, somebody said you're just being yourself and you're being real. I saw that pop up. It, I This may sound so crazy. I tell the people in my coaching group this, though, actually. Um, I feel like I can be more myself on a live than I can be anywhere else. And the reason for that is I am silly as all get out. I know, I'm ridiculous. But um, I just totally am myself on these lives a hundred percent and what's funny is you wouldn't think so because you think with that many people watching like how can you be yourself well all I see is me and I see y'all's comments and I know that y'all are there and I love interacting it's just so much fun but I don't see your faces which helps and you know why it helps because if y'all are like And you're looking off and all that. Like, that would make, if I was doing it in front of you, I'd be like, oh, she's bored. Oh, gosh. Oh, she did not think that was funny. Oh, gosh. And I'd be start reading into that. But when I don't see it, I'm just like, yeah, I'm funny. I just keep going. I don't even think anything about it. You know what I mean? It just is so much easier. I could be in my element, doing what I love, sharing with y'all, being 100% myself. Now, if I saw y'all and y'all was like rolling your eyes and chatting amongst yourselves and acting like I was stupid in person, it would kind of get me down probably. But, and I might would like react differently. But what, that's what's so funny about a live video. You don't have that. So you can just literally uh, be completely yourself. So it's super fun. This gnome is looking so cute, y'all. Okay, so we just need to do something up here. And in fact, it's probably the lucky is probably not going to be showing, which I'm totally fine with because I need a bow on this one too. I'm just sorry. I just do. Um, but I tell you what, Hannah, could you do me a huge favor? Um, can you get me a little bit of pink ribbon? It's just right over here, y'all. Um, but, oh, actually, there's some pink ribbon. Oh, let's see that one. This one. Ooh, but that's not the color pink, I don't think. Um. It's sparkly. Oh. Yeah. Um, okay, I'll tell you what. Okay, yeah, yeah, that's cute. Okay, we're going to use a little bit of pink just to just to kind of bring out that, okay? So, anyway, that's all. That's good. That's good. Thank you very much. I just wanted just a touch of pink because I thought that would be super cute. So, thank you for grabbing that. Mm -hmm. And um, so, I'm just going to make a... I'm going to make a smaller bow on this one, okay? For sure. So, I'm going to cut one piece of burlap. Um, and I'm going to cut it in half. Because I need this bow to be just a tad bit more down to earth, okay? Um, and then we're just going to crisscross it the same way we would. Um, <laughs> um, and we're just going to cut it. Cut your ribbon. Maybe they are for left-handed. I don't know. I'm struggling. I'm struggling with them for today. I don't know why. I actually always struggle, so it's just an excuse. Um, so we're going to have a little bit more calm bow, but it's still so we crisscross those. I want to add a little bit of black and white because I just really, really like that. 
that. I love some black and white, so I'm going to throw that across there. I'm going to throw this white piece across there that I didn't use last time. And I'm going to do a little bit of raffia because I, I didn't use raffia last time, and I love raffia. So I'm going to cut this raffia up, and I don't want it just to be so like that. So I'm just going to, so all I do is I just crumble it in my hands, okay? Okay, so we've made this little bow. Now I'm going to cut, I guess I can just cut this twine. That'll work just perfect. And then we're going to stick it on the top here in just a minute. It's going to be a cute one too, y'all. But you can't, you know what you can't really see? You can't really see my bit of pink that I wanted. So let, let me get it where I want it to be here. Right there, I'm gonna get it where it shows up on the top. Get that, and then lay my piece of twine. Across. It's harder to do a small bow than a big bow. I'm just telling y'all that right now. Okay, um, so get it real tight, tied up. Come on now, I'm telling you, it's it's harder to do small. Okay, so we got a cute little bow. Look at this precious little bow. Um, so cute. I'm going to trim it up just a tad. Get this baby trimmed up. And then I'm going to go ahead and tie a knot up here. It just helps me to, to put... Okay, so it just helps me to put the bow on an already existing knot. I don't know why, but it, it is easier for me. So let's get this tied in a knot. So this is what we've got right now, which is really cute in and of itself. But look at the bow. Oh my gosh, I wanna keep this. Um, that's cute. This is cute, y'all. Somebody's gonna win this, for real. I'm gonna mail it to you with a thank you note for being awesome. Okay, we just made two super cute gnomes in a pretty short amount of time. Look at this. Look at this precious bearded gnome lady man. <laughs> Whatever it is. How cute is this? Seriously. This was made with a little piece of shiplap. So you can turn anything into anything. Not even joking. But look how cute this turned out. Oh my gosh. Okay, and the, like I said, the socks came from um, Dollar Tree. We didn't even use them all. So then this one... Super cute. Like I said, I'm going to fluff the beard up. I about said her beard. And I'm like feeling weird about that, but I don't know. I'm going to fluff the beard up. Um, but this bow over the top, super cute. Both of them turned out so adorable. Somebody's going to get one of each, okay? Somebody's going to get one. Somebody else is going to get the other, okay? And we will draw tomorrow at noon, um, Central Standard Time. And... Um, tell you who won these goodies. So I'm done for today. This was super fun. Thank y'all for spreading the love. Thank you for showing um, my videos to your friends. Make sure you're following along and also make sure you're following on YouTube, Instagram, text list, all the fun places. You don't want to miss out on anything, okay? It's super fun everywhere. So thank y'all for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. See y'all tomorrow. Bye guys.